worksheet. Today we're going to look in, we will be looking at the multiplication of whole numbers by three digit numbers. It's much the same as we did that of two digit numbers, but then we are going to consider very, very important three steps the same way we did last time you've subscribed to my channel i say thanks so much for watching this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel i want you to hit the subscribe button now as a pupil our video is going to put you ahead of your pupils of your peers in school as regard mathematics well if you're a parent out there i want you to be confident enough to know that yes your words are in the right hands of course we know how to put mathematics into the minds of this young heart today we'll be looking at multiplying whole numbers by three digit numbers now when we talk about three digit numbers three digit numbers are numbers like one four six and in these numbers you have in this number you have uh, the units you have the tens and then you have the word the hundred that makes three digit numbers now much the same way we went about doing the multiplication of two digit numbers we are still going to follow that same method and today i'm going to show you the three method we can use in multiplying these uh, uh, whole numbers with three digit numbers remember the first one is using the expanded form method the second one is using the digit form method and the third one is by the use of the word partial product method now let's start with uh, the very first example we want to look at today and with this example we're going to consider this three good method we've talked about now let's look at this example we are asked to as a sample one we are asked to multiply we are asked to multiply five six eight five six eight by what by two four three now assume you are asked to multiply these two numbers how do you go about it now we're going to use uh, the expanded form method now without wasting time i'm going to tell you what you need to do when multiplying two numbers with the expanded form method now when multiplying these two numbers we're going to multiply 243 by what by 5 6 Eight. remember the last time I told you that when you are asked to do this all you need to do is to what to expand this value the other value now if we expand this value we are going to have a 500 plus what plus 60 plus what plus 8 so that means 243 will be multiplying 560 and what and 8 now look at how we go about this we have what 243 plus 243 will be multiplying what 500 plus 60 plus 8 now if we expand this we are going to have what 243 multiplied by 500 plus 243 multiplied by what 60 plus 243 multiplied by what? 8. Fine. So you see, we have gone as far as what? Expanding this value. Now remember, when we started discussing multiplication of numbers, I told you we talked about multiplication of numbers with what? With 1,000, whole numbers by 1,000 and 1,000. And if you recall, right, if you haven't watched that video, I want you to go watch that video. I told you that when you are given any whole number to multiply by 100, you have to, all you need to do is just to what? Add the what? The two zeros to what to the value itself and that is all then later you can now multiply that value the result you get by the other factor now let's look at 
500 as a good example we have 500 500 is made up of what 100 and what and five these are the two factors we will get so we are going to multiply this with 100 and that will give us what two four three and then zero what zero that's the zero then we'll multiply this by the next the factor right I guess you are getting me now we're going to look at the next one we have two four three zero because this is 10 10 and 60 times what times 6 why the other one is going to give us just what two four three times what times eight so you are going to see that when we expand all these and sum them we are going to get the exact value of these two words multiplication now let's go about the expansion now five times zero we give us what zero five times zero we give us zero five times three we give us what 15 we write five we take over one five times four we give us 20 plus one that will give us what 21 carry over to 5 times 2 we give us what 10 plus 2 we give us what 12 that's the value for that what for that multiplication the next one we want to multiply is this 6 times 0 we give us what 0 6 times 3 we give us 18 we write 8 we take over 1 6 times 4 we give us 21 plus uh, 24 plus 1 will have what five that will give us 25 so we'll carry right five and what and carry two six times two we give us what 12 12 plus two we give us what 14 so gradually we are getting to uh, the, the end now let's look at this final multiplication eight times three will give us what eight times three will give us 20 that will give us 24 you write four take over what two now, 8 times 2 will give us what? 32. 32 plus 2 will give us what? 34. We'll write this and carry what? Carry 3. Now, 8 times 2 will give us 16. 16 plus 3 will give us what? That's 19. So you see, gradually we are getting to the solution. Now, let's add these three parameters together. When we add these three parameters, we are going to have what? 1, 2, 1, 500 plus what? 1, 4, 5, 8, 0 plus what? 1, 9, 4, what? 4. This will give us what? 4 this will give us 8 plus 4 will give us what 8 9 10 11 and what 12 so we'll have our 2 take over 1 10 plus 6 plus 5 will give us what 1 plus 5 will give us 6 6 plus 5 will give us 11 and 11 plus 9 will give us what 20 good you write what a 0 and take over 1 2 2 plus 1 will give us 3. 3 plus 4 will give us 7, right? 7 plus 1 will give us what? 8. Then this will give us what? 2 plus 1 will give us 3. And this will give us what? 1. So the total will give us 1, 3, 8, 0, 2, what? 4. So you see, Using the expanded form method, multiplication can be very, very easy. You can also do it on the other way. While 5, 6, 8 will be multiplying 240 and what? And 3. And that is how you use expanded form method in solving multiplication of whole numbers with three digit numbers. Now let's look at the next method we can use in solving this same question. And the next method we are going to look at now is the what? The digit form method. Now when going about solving with the digit form method, what should you bear in mind? The digit form method has to do with placing these numbers in their various words place what value we're going to look at the digit what the digit form method 
now we have our hundred we have our tens and we have our what our unit the first number there is five six eight while the other number is multiplied by what by two four what and three now how do we go about using this digit form method remember the first number we have is 568 and 8 is in the units 6 is in the tens while 5 is in the what is in the hundred so what we are going to do first of all is to multiply 245 with what with 8 what 8 units times what 243 not 245 now 8 times 3 will give us what 8 times 3 will give us will multiply 8 by everything here and uh, the value will be what we we'll put down here now 8 times 3 will give us uh, 24 you write what you write our uh, 4 and carry what 2 8 times 4 will give us what 32 32 plus 2 will give us 34 you carry 3 now 8 times 3 will give us 16 16 plus 3 will give us what 9 so you see the units gave us 1944 now the next thing we want to look at is to look at what the tens we have what 6 what tens multiplied by what 2 4 what 2 4 3 now 6 times 3 will give us what 18 we write our 8 and take over what carry one six times four will give us 24 plus one that will give us what 25 now we'll carry what two six times two will give us 12 12 plus two will give us what 14 so we have our what our 14 the next one we're going to talk about is the what is the 500 multiply by what two four what three five times three will give us what 15 what we we'll do you write five and one is carried what off five times four will give us 20 plus one that's 21 so you carry what you carry two five times two is 10 10 plus 2 will give us what that will give us 12 so the next thing we need to do is to what is to sum up all this now when you sum up all this we are going to have this plus this will give us 4 8 plus 4 will give us what 8 plus 4 will give us 12 we write 2 carry over 1 to make this 10 10 plus 5 will give us what 15 15 plus 5 will give us what 20 that will give us what 0 and we write what 2 2 plus 1 will give us what 3 3 plus 4 will give us 7 plus this that will give us what 8 this will give us 3 and this will give us what 1 so you see that the result we got is exactly the same with the result we got when we went about doing this same uh, 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 this same question using the expanded form method so which of uh, which of these two method you feel is comfortable and easy for you go about what doing that now let's finally look at the partial uh, the partial product method we're going to use this partial product method to also find a solution to uh, this question we've been given now using the partial method partial product method all you need to do is just to what to multiply the two values as given now given this partial product method which we know is not much is more of the way we do go about solving uh, a normal multiplication now this partial method all we need to do using the partial product method is this now in this partial method we are going to look at 5 what 6 8 multiplied by what by 2 4 3 now we are going to consider the values of what of the 2 4 what 2 4 3 now 3 is in the unit 4 is in the fence 
and two is in the what in the hundred just as we did the digit form, form method we are going to use the units we're going to use the tens and we're going to use the hundred in multiplying all other words values now how do we go about this we can now say three multiplied by what five six eight forty multiplied by what five six eight and what two hundred multiplied by what five six what eight it's just like similar to what we did in the expanded form method now when we multiply this this times this will give us what 24 we do what we write for and carry two this times this will give us what 18 plus 2 will give us what 20 you write 0 you carry 2 this times this will give us 15 plus 2 that will give you what 17 now the next one is the multiplication of this and you know when you put the 0 here this becomes what 5 6 8 0 multiplied by what by 4 so 4 times 0 will give us what 0 right 4 times 8 will give us 24 right you write what 4 and you carry what will give us 34 times 0 will give us 32 4 times 8 will give us 32 we write 2 carry what 3 4 times 6 will give us 24 plus 3 will give us what 27 so we we'll write what 7 and carry what 2 4 times 5 will give us 20 plus 2 is what 22 so the final one we're going to add what two zeros here to make this multiple having added the two zeros here we can now multiply two with all these values here so two times zero will give us what zero right two times zero will give us what zero two times eight will give us what 16 good you write six and you take what one 2 times 6 will give us 12 plus 1 that will give us what 13 so we'll write what 3 and then take over 1 2 times 5 will give us 10 plus 1 that will give us what 11 good so you see now you can now add all this when you add all this 4 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 4 2 0 plus 2 plus 0 will give us what 2 7 plus 7 is what is 14 plus 6 that will give you 20 you write 0 and you carry out 2 2 plus 3 will give you 3 plus 2 that will give you what 5 5 plus 3 will give us what 8 this plus 2 plus 1 will give us 3 and this will give us what 1 so the final solution will be 138024 now do you notice that the solutions are the same now the essence of teaching you this three method is for you to know which is very easier for you so that you can easily pick up any of these three look at the one that's much easier for you and then use that constantly except if you are told to use any of this method so solving uh, multiplication of whole numbers with three digit numbers can be very very much easy if you are conversant with using this three method in our next video you, we are going to look at the world problems in multiplication don't miss that video if you haven't subscribed to our channel I want you to hit the subscribe button now so that you can be the first to get that video once it is released I look forward to seeing you in the next video class